Hello friends, this video on components of food part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we have been learning about so many different types of nutrients. How do we test whether starch is present in a food item or carbohydrate is present or protein is present or fat is present. But the question is, why do we need all types of nutrients? Okay, so we say that carbohydrates they provide us energy we say fats they provide instant energy we say proteins they also do something good so each of these nutrients do some good to us so why is it necessary that i need to take all of them what if i take only carbohydrates in my diet so is that going to affect me adversely yes so here in this section we will look at the importance of nutrients why are they so important? Why are they so significant? So let us first talk about carbohydrates. So carbohydrate, they primarily provide energy to the body and we saw that energy is needed to perform any kind of activity. Whether we want to perform a physical work or a mental work, everywhere we need energy and this energy is provided by the carbohydrates. So some of the food items which are rich in carbohydrates are bread, rice, potato, um, tortillas or chapatis, idli, dosa. Now they are all made up of some kind of cereals, whether it is rice so or it could be wheat and they are all carbohydrate rich food. If you talk about fats, so fats also provide energy. So when you compare them with carbohydrates, you will see that fats provide a lot more energy when compared to the same amount of carbohydrates. So if you compare 10 grams of carbohydrate with 10 grams of fats, so the 10 grams of fat is going to give you a lot more energy than the same 10 gram of carbohydrates. So fats are like they provide more energy, they, give, they can provide energy almost instantly, very quickly they can provide you energy. So these are the food items like butter, ghee, oil, uh, fried food, maybe finger fries or uh, any kind of fried thing. You talk about fryers, all of these they are the rich source of fats. You talk about the fast food like pizza, burger, they also have a lot of cheese and butter which are rich source of fats. So if you look at both carbohydrates and fats, they both provide energy. So because of that, these food items which are rich in carbohydrates and fats, they are termed as energy giving foods because their primary job is to provide energy to our body. So whether you talk about rice or bread or chapati or cereals, ghee, butter, cheese, they are all energy giving foods. Now next we will talk about proteins. So what is the significance of protein? So proteins, the, some of the common food items like pulses are a very rich source of proteins. And the fishes and meat are also rich source of protein along with milk. So proteins help in growth and repair of tissues of the body. Now when you look at the uh, composition of the body of any living organism, you see that so like when, when you think of a building, what makes a building? A huge number of bricks make a building, right? So when you think of a building, what makes this building? A large number of bricks. Similarly, when you look at our body, so body of any living organisms are made up of cells. So these cells are building blocks of our body and group of cells unite together to form tissues and the growth of these tissues or repair of these tissues that happens only with the help of proteins. So tissues are nothing but they are group of cells. So if there are no proteins inside our body, the tissues would not grow. And if the tissues would not grow, what will happen? The overall growth of the body will also stop, right? It is something like if you do not have the bricks, will you ever have a building? Of course not. So proteins are very critical. They not only help in growth and repair of tissues, they also help in transport processes. Now. When we say transport processes, you can think of 
there are hormones, enzymes which are secreted in our body at one part and then they are carried to some other part. So these hormones, enzymes, these are nothing but proteins. In fact, when you talk about the transport functionality of proteins, uh, another example that comes to our mind is hemoglobin. So hemoglobin is a component which is present in our blood and uh, it helps to transport substances from one place to another. So, and hemoglobin is nothing but a protein. So, all these food items which are rich in proteins, whether it is pulses or fish or meat or milk, they are called as body building foods because they do not directly provide us any energy, but they help to build our body because if the tissues are not there, our body formation would have not happened. And for growth and repair of tissues, proteins help. So proteins help in building our body. So the foods, items rich in proteins are called body building foods. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.